good Saturday morning and welcome to another edition of the award-winning Outdoors with Larry Ray on 790 The Bet. Brought to you proudly by the Tennessee Wildlife Resources Agency. Now, here's your host, Larry Ray. Hey, good Saturday morning, or if you want to say it, it's a good Christmas morning. And uh, yes, we're not in the studio. I'm going to say it right off here because this is a holiday. We kind of Wanted to do something different on Outdoors with Larry Ray. And I didn't want everybody to have to be here on a Saturday morning on Christmas, particularly Frank Barton and Charlie Covington and, and of course, Shelby McCall. So uh, we kind of put together this show this morning for you folks out there. And it will feature our co-hosts, who are a very important part of Outdoors with Larry Ray. So each segment uh, will be a co-host. And then we're going to slip in uh, the man himself who has not been here in a Quite a few days because of uh, work assignments, but it is Charlie Covington. Good morning, Charlie. Good morning, Larry. All and right. Merry so, Christmas to you. There you go. And Charlie, of course, is our poet laureate. He's come in with uh, an envelope that I figure has got something to do with a poem. And then, of course, uh, thank you, Frank Barton, for making the journey across the river to be with us as we tape this show for a Saturday morning on Outdoors with Larry Ray. and. Good morning, Larry. Merry Christmas, everyone. Merry Christmas to everyone. And uh, another guy that would be here, but he's always helping people and things along that line. And so uh, when we decided to do this show, uh, we're going to kick it off with my man himself. We usually get him twice a month. He's the only guy that has a BW and a bonus Wong. And so we're going to kick in with Ron Wong. Hey, Ron, good morning. Good morning, Larry. <laughs> good morning, Frank. Good morning, Charlie and Merry Christmas, everybody. All right. All right. Well, what we want to talk, uh, we're going to kind of, these co-hosts, Ron will kick it off uh, because Ron's been doing it, uh, I don't know, a long time. Frank's been doing it a long time. Of course, I've known Charlie for a long time through our our, our, our church where we go at Bartlett Hills Baptist. But uh, Ron and I go back a long, long, long way. I didn't long, know, I, I did not talk. No, I didn't know him when he played the saxophone in the Memphis State Band, but I bet he was a good one, that's for sure. But uh, appreciate you, Ron, being part of this team that uh, we've won some awards and you've won awards. And uh, But I wanted to look back at 2020 for Ron, 2021 for Ron Wong because I know, Ron, you've had uh, quite a few things go on this year. You've uh, solidified yourself as a... Uh, as the, as the guy that knows where the fish are biting without any notes or anything along that line. So you might tell our listeners out there a little bit about how you uh, got into this and, and what was the year like for you. What are some highlights from 2021 for Ron Wong? Well, I mean, there are several highlights. Uh, you know, we, we've had to deal with this COVID issue. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know, and it shut down a lot of things in 2020. So in 2021, things kind of slacked up a little bit where they started back having things like ICAS, yes. which was uh-huh. uh, always good to see people in the fishing industry, uh, the professional fishermen, all of the new tackle and everything else. And, of course, the Bassmaster Classic. They moved it from March to June in Dallas, Texas, or Fort Worth, Texas. That was always good to get back and and see all of that. And who won that? Who who won that? Uh, Do you remember, Ron? Golly, (laughs) I think it's a two-time winner, Hank Cherry. And I I say that because next week, folks, we have put together a best of 2021 on Outdoors with Larry Ray, thanks to Shelby McCall, our show producer, and one of those segments we'll bring back from last year is when we talked to Hank Cherry, uh, back-to-back uh, classic champions. He's, and, and he's really an amazing, not he, only fisherman, but a wonderful human being. Yes, he, he is. just did a charity uh, raising money for um, a family. He sure did, yeah. Uh, and... Raised sixteen thousand dollars. That's uh, him. That's him. And, and I have to tell you, you know, my hats off to Hank uh, for everything that he does. Uh, Was that a highlight for, for you? Was that a highlight? Because I know you you had a chance to see a lot of cr- of uh, crappie tournaments. Yeah, you got to see uh, a yeah, lot of those. And, 
and yeah. I will tell you, you know, I had the opportunity to be at the American Crawford Trail yes. National Championship. Yep. Uh, saw a guy that won it that is probably the best crappie fisherman in the world using live scope. And that's Josh Jones. Uh, that's Josh Jones. A Oklahoma. thrill to talk to him. And, uh, a thrill to be around him and, and learn. And, you know, one of the things that, you know, I, I constantly try to do is to at least learn the lingo of <laughs> the new technology. Uh, I'm not very good at it, uh, but it's a great learning experience. And, you know, to be around professionals that get to do that, and every time I do that, uh, what a joy. had a chance to spend a day on the lake with uh, Tim Blackley, who yes. we've had on the show. Yeah. And he really fine-tuned me with uh, uh, the live scope, along with people like Kyler Beckman, Ronnie Capps. Yep, yep. So it's been an exciting year. Caught a lot of bass. Yes, you did. Yes. <laughs> and, uh, you know, so I'm thankful that I'm able to do that. Yeah, yeah. And so what What does Ron Wong get for Christmas every year? I've always wondered. The man that's got every rod and reel ever invented, you know, back in uh, – and uh, at our at our radio station luncheon the other day, he was showing uh, Ron Olson uh, a, a lure. So Ron, is, <laughs> so Ron and Ron were talking fishing. But uh, what are you what are you getting for Christmas? Well, I'm not sure. I usually <laughs> what I get. No kidding. Yeah. Uh, I get very few items. Okay. But I get a gift card. Gift card. Yes. And it's kind of funny. It's uh, gift cards to people. Places like Bass Pro Shop, oh, really? okay. Tackle Warehouse, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and so that's uh, that's always uh, uh, appreciated and something I can always use. And you, you know, I've been very blessed to be able to do the things that I do. Yes, you have. And yeah. and uh, you know, I thank the Lord every day. Yep. Yeah. And I'm able to do it. And, 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 of course, I know you'll be at the Quans for Christmas. Uh, that's part of your uh, extended, yes, uh, extended family. There will be a lot of food, a lot of uh, fellowshipping, and uh, a lot of fish talk. Uh, and we can, Absolutely. And we, can yeah. talk, and we can talk about that. But, Ron, I know that you have uh, been so much a part of this show for a long time. And, uh, and kicking you off is, is, is good on this, on this show, folks, because we're going to talk to – Ron, we're going to talk to John Gordon. Frank Barton is here. We're going to talk to Charlie Covenant's here. Bill Cooksey. Uh, we're going to talk to Gene Smith and Dave Gabbard. It's going to be a full show, and we're hoping, as Ron knows, uh, everybody knows what's happened at Real Foot in northwest Tennessee with uh, the tornadoes yes. through Kentucky. So we're going to talk to, uh, hopefully, with Billy Blakely out of Blue Bank Resort a little bit later in the show. But, Ron, I appreciate everything that you've done for Outdoors, Larry Ray, buddy. And I look forward to uh, a great 2022. And so, uh, and it will be a great 2022. And I certainly look forward to being on Outdoors with Larry Ray. I appreciate the honor to do it uh, and to hopefully I can help people learn a little bit more about the fishing industry, about how to do the crappie fishing, the bass fishing things, and, <laughs> and leave a few tips along the way. Well, anybody knows the fishing, uh, it's Ron Wong, and uh, he's already bugged me. He, well, I wouldn't say bugged me. He's already suggested he, he, that he'll have two guests coming up the next time that we have Ron on the show. So, uh, Ron, thank you, buddy. We appreciate you and everything. Be safe. Merry Christmas to you, and we'll see you next year. Okay? Absolutely. All right. Merry Christmas to you all and a happy new year and stay safe on the water. Will Thank do. Thank you. All right. Ron Wong. All right. Let's take a break. Come back and uh, continue this conversation with Frank Barton is in the studio. Frank, I know that uh, uh, Christmas is special for you, so we're going to talk a little bit about Barton Christmas is coming up. And then, of course, Charlie has got that poem. I, I, I'm not sure what it is. He kept, told me at church the other night. But I've forgotten since then. But uh, what's the name of it, Charlie? 
It's called In the Midst of It All. In the Midst of It All. So stay tuned. Outdoors with Larry Ray here on uh, 790 AM. We'll be right back.